Are there 15 crabs in here? Yeah, they're all in there. 15 crabs. Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100-year-old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. We get eggs from our chickens. We keep a cow who can provide all of our family's milk. We keep pigs for meat. We keep goats for milk. We got a fridge full of milk. Our freezers are full of healthy food, four of them. If you want to join us in our homesteading adventure on our small farm, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Excited to go to the beach? Yeah. Uh, it is amazing and relieving. It's so much work and prep, and so many people are involved in making this happen for us farm sitters and people checking the garden, but we're doing it. If we're going on vacation, it means we have good friends. Yeah, that's what that means. And we also have to remember that, anyway, we just planned this the wrong time of year, but we made it happen. Our friends helped us, our family helped us. Very thankful. So we actually made it. Bree's at the grocery store and we had to make a deal with her that we were gonna drop her at the grocery store. She was gonna do get a few things, but we couldn't go to the beach and we couldn't go to our rental until we picked her back up. So we found this little park. We're looking for alligators, right? Yep. Trying to find our first alligator. All these little holes and all that pellet stuff. Yeah. So the so baby crabs um, dig themselves a burrow, uh -huh. and then they come up and get sand and get all the good stuff out of it, and then they spit little balls out. Oh, the baby crabs do? Yeah. Oh, that's so And cool. moms. So I, that's baby crabs. Crabs. Bark. You see any alligators? Yeah. What? I see good folks. Do you think alligators are around here? You gotta see this. Look at these berries or whatever they are. What are these? Ow! Sorry. Isn't that cool? Well, it's seven people, eight days, three meals per day. How many carts did you get? Well, it was two, but with bags it was three. You're glad we're going to the beach? Yeah. Now that all the work's done, it's exciting. Help me when we're the fish so I can cover my eyes. Can I look? You can look. Oh, it's super cute. It's totally our style. We're and, here. And it's fenced, which is exactly what I wanted for the kids. Look. Not yet. We need you to bring in some groceries. Like that deck. I just that deck right there. Yeah. But we've never done anything like this. No, but we did. And this is a frugal choice, I but I wanted a house on the beach. Yeah. And I picked a very frugal choice, but it's it's perfect for our family. It's a very our family style house. And is that on? The camera's filming. <laughs> It has a yard and it's right on the beach and there's a view. I can't wait to go out to the beach. The most we've ever done as far as going to the beach is staying in the ultra cheapest hotel. Well, I did uh, what the timeshare. We did one of those things. 
<laughs> You've heard of that. And we've also stayed like one night at a hotel. Yeah. That's a pretty cheap hotel. Well, the only hotel in Bali. It's not cheap. Though. It's really terrible. It's not a very good hotel. <laughs> it's like concrete, Russian, yeah. block housing. No, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. The glass is really nice. This place is just an old beach house, little cottage. It's got wood everywhere. It's really pleasant to be in. It's very small, but the cool thing is that right on the other side of the backyard is the beach. from our farm and that it seemed kind of like an impossible thing. Bree is good to make stuff happen though. It is incredibly refreshing to be in a different context for a little while. It's not that we don't like our life at home. In fact, I like it more and more and the, the longer I get up at 6 a.m., the better I like it. And I've been getting up for a couple, three weeks at 6 a.m. and and getting more work done, going to bed earlier, and really enjoying it overall a lot more. You know, in our younger days, Arthur and I were both adventurers, and we gallivanted around the globe. And since we've been married and had babies and all the things, we haven't adventured much. I mean, we've adventured in our local area, but it's difficult to get away. So it feels really amazing. It's just. It's not even about leaving the farm, it's about experiencing something new and different. And of course the beach is always a lovely place to, to experience something new and different. It's a great place for a changed perspective. There's something yeah. about coming to the edge of the land and looking out and just remembering the bigger context yes. of the fact that of who we are and where we live, as in we live on the earth. Remember, ooh, remember I'm gonna be real picky about what I keep. So what did it take to let us make our escape? It took a lot of planning. Yes. It took a lot of setup. Multiple people, well, we have, I mean, we have someone who's coming out and taking care of the animals. We're calling them our house sitter. And then- Farm sitter. Farm sitter. It's a big deal. And then, my parents are coming out and at least one other person's coming out to work on projects, work in the garden, and just keep stuff from coming apart at the scene. Well just to make sure the garden gets doesn't get neglected because my tomatoes are coming in pretty intensively right now and my corn. So thankfully I have people who are we're kind of bartering with like if you will deal with this vegetable you can keep some of it and we'll take some of it and that's a pretty good deal for them honestly if yeah. someone said hey you can come out and pick a bunch of stuff and keep it 
or keep most of it. That would be, a lot of people would like that. But yeah, it, I could stress out so much about us being gone, except for the fact that there's people there every single day with eyes on all the animals and checking everything. And this wouldn't be the end of the world if we had to drive back up there. I would hate that. But like if there was a true emergency, like I would okay. drive back up there. Yeah, and there's someone going every day, but then, <clears throat> but then there's m many days where there's more than one person going to be there to check later in the day. Um, but I think I think in the end it's going to be okay, and if something does come up, we can just go home. It would be sad, it would be a bummer, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. A deer? deer right? It's three deer are going to bucks. Have you ever seen deer on the beach? No. <laughs> I have never seen deer on the beach. I did see their tracks today though, but there's two bucks and I think it's three bucks actually they coming running by. That's Those are nice little bucks. They're young, but they've, one of them is a seven, eight. There's six or eight pointers. Can you try to go pet them? No, that's a great idea though. Probably not a great idea actually, but it's a sweet idea. That was a neat way to end our day. We're about to go put the kids to bed at a pretty normal bedtime. We're trying to keep our schedule similar, as in bedtime similar, and a rest quiet time in the afternoon, nap time for the little boys. So we just don't go nonstop, and we can actually have downtime in between the fun, the sun, and the activities. <laughs> There's not going to be that many activities though this week. We don't really do activities on vacation. We chill. I want to explore is what I want to do. I want to go... Well, yeah, we always explore. You're an explorer. No, I'm an explorer. But we don't like go putt-putting and like go shopping and those kinds of things. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just not what we do on vacation. I want to go take the kids fishing. I need to actually look up the regulations for the local place we're at. And I also would like to explore inland a little bit and look at the farmland and stuff because oh, I yes. love seeing I love seeing how these agriculture land like interlaces with these intercoastal waterways it's just so that beautiful such to an me idea. we should do some research and look at some local farms but I just want to go see them and we could actually probably find a way to like go to a farm that would actually be really fun if you remind me I'll research that in the morning. Though there's no internet here, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> it's kind of nice there's no internet, honestly. I mean, it kills me because I was actually had a bunch of research I needed to do. Come on, this way. Go up there. Get your shoes on, big man. The kids had so much fun crabbing and eating crabs that we decided to come out again. Twice in the same day. Same spot. Did you catch something, Wilder? Our professional sized fishing pole. What could it be, Daddy? I think it was a big crab because it popped off. Oh. Let's go bait this one up, big man. You got two that are good? Let me see those, girl. Those are both over five? Yeah. Oh, nice job. Good job. device but have teas in the way. <laughs> Are there 
15 crabs in here. Yeah, they're all in. 15 crabs. Is it mustard? Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Wilder, do you want to say that again? <laughs> Sit at the home. He's saying it's. See you at the homestead. It was kind of like another great day on the homestead. He said, but. "See you at the homestead." <laughs> it's like he knows. Like we're not at the homestead. He knows the video's over. He's got to say something. <laughs>